Hey guys, what's going on? It is me, Sam. Welcome to this video. So I'm going to be focusing on the new Enlightenment Aura, uh, giving you guys the best information for how you can use this and make the most out of it. Because if you don't know already, this Aura will give you double XP for two hours every week uh, through the months of June, July and August. So seeing as that has actually started now, I thought I'd make a video on it to let you guys know the best ways to make the most XP in the time that you have. So I did actually go over to Twitter and ask people on there if they got any good methods for me to show on the video. Uh, so throughout this video, as a thanks to the people that did help me, you're going to see some tweets on the screen from them guys. But let's start now and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so one of the first methods that was given to me was summoning in Tavoli. Uh, this is actually really good. Um, this is my first time actually trying it out. And the way you have to do it is you have to bring your um, supplies in noted form. So for example, making steel titans. So I brought some steel plate bodies. And if you note it and sell it to the summoning shop, you can actually just purchase it back and you can infuse pouches very, very quickly. Uh, so as you can see on the screen right now, I've just sold all of my steel plate bodies and I just infused the pouches and straight away I can just sell the pouches back to the guy and buy more steel plate bodies and just literally repeat this and every single time I was getting 20k plus XP and uh, you know if you've got loads of charms and loads of supplies for this I can't imagine how much XP you can get from this but quite a lot and definitely something you want to do if you want to get up your summoning and get it done really really fast. This next method is awesome as it features the Gilded Altar. Now originally on bonus XP weekends you wouldn't be able to actually get you know the bonus XP or double XP from this but with this aura it does actually allow you so you're going to be able to get a lot of XP from using the Gilded Altar so if you want to save some cash when training prayer now's the time to really train it uh, with the aura activated of course and go ahead i was using dragon bones for the video i was getting over 500 xp per bone and it's just incredible how much xp you can get now i didn't actually bring a pack yet with me just because i only actually bought the bones for the video but if you do want to get more xp then make sure to bring a pack yak a war tortoise anything like that to allow you to bring more bones Okay, so the next method is a relatively simple one. Just do a farm run, uh, try and plant the best things that you can. So magic seeds, um, what else is there? Palm tree seeds, calquits, everything like that. So as soon as you activate your aura, you can quickly do a farm run and get all that juicy XP. Again, throughout this video, I didn't actually have any planted because it's just for the sake of the video. I've shown you and kind of explaining how you can do it. Uh, but I'm sure most of you know how to do a farm run and where to go for everything like that. But definitely recommended to do this if you want to get some farming XP. Uh, it won't take too long to complete a farm run and you'll be sure to gain a load of XP. Okay, so this next method is training Herblore with the overloads. Uh, this is actually incredibly good XP. Originally, you'd get 1k XP for making an overload. And of course, with the Enlightenment Aura, it is 2k. So it is really, really good, especially if you do want to get your Herblore up and uh, you know save yourself some time and money then definitely go ahead and make the overloads even just making any other potions you're still getting loads of xp uh, but still say overloads would most likely be the best so if you can make them then go ahead and do it um, like i said you're going to save some time and money and it's probably definitely worth it and just one other side note with uh, making the overloads is that unfortunately you can't actually use presets so when you're in your bank and you want to click on a preset it says that you can't actually open it because you've got an aura active so that's a bit of a shame uh, but still just work your way around it do it the old school method and just withdraw all of it and you'll still be able to get loads of xp and the final method i have for you guys is hunting draconic jadinkos here at herblore habitat Originally they give you around 500 XP per catch, uh, so with the new aura this will give you about 1k XP which is really good, especially for the people that don't really like training Hunter, this will give you that extra boost to get it done quicker and uh, it's pretty sweet when you are getting 1k XP drops from catching these. So some pretty nice methods here for gaining some more XP whilst you train, I do hope it's helped you out. There were actually plenty of other suggestions from Twitter which just didn't make it onto the video but I still want to say a big thank you to everyone that did try and help me out with uh, you know helping this video and uh, if it has helped you then make sure to throw the video a like, that'd be great. And uh, yeah, that will be it for this video, so good luck with your XP guys and I will see you in the next video.